Hello guys, this is King Swords. Welcome back to another Beatamon video. Today we are looking at something super cool, a retro 1994 Super Bomberman toy. Now this is going to be super cool. We can do an unboxing and a review of it at the same time, which will it's relatively new for this channel. So right here we have the nice front cover. That looks super cool. It's got um the Beatamon uh and the ball that's shooting which is yellow. It's got the side which shows off all of the beat em on, well, three more beat em on in this line, and that's pretty cool. Um, on the back, it shows the game where you're trying to hit the shield out of the beat em on's hand, kind of like DHB, but I guess that this would be a little bit slower pace because you can only shoot. There's no magazines or anything, um, not with this guy at least. And you, there's a front attachment, a helmet for say to make them knights, and a shield, and that's going to be pretty cool. On the final side, it just shows how you can upgrade him with the helmet to make him a, the knight of the Beatamon world. And up top, it shows a little animated guy and him in his poses. Um, that's about it. There's a little bit on the bottom, same as the top. Uh, so yeah, actually, let's just crack on straight with unboxing him. I'm going to use this knife to cut open the vintage tape. There we go. Over here. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is actually so cool. You got the little tiny thing, which actually doesn't look like it has a spring, but so you have this guy, which is cool. Um, you have the balloon over, which I just, ooh, that's a, this is actually pretty nice quality, like it doesn't feel like it was from the old days. These are plastic, they're not metal, they're just shiny plastic. So let's transform them into the night form. Oh, that, that is just cool. The paint is not the best quality, it's pretty good for, depending on its age. It is a tiny bit yellow. But that can be expected from the old age. Uh, let's put the shield on this guy. See if we can figure out how to do that. I think that just... just click on that. Let's see. Um, actually, let's see. I will be right back when I figure out how to actually put the shield on this guy. And I'm going to figure out what this tiny little black piece does. Uh, so, yeah. We are back. Okay guys, we are back and before we take a look at the actual Beatamon itself, I just wanted to say that this box, um, there was nothing else inside of it. It was just uh, the little tray that the guy came in. No instructions or anything. So you will kind of have to figure it out on yourself if you do buy one of these. Um, so basically, this guy, he is scary to put together. He is. Like the helmet, that's pretty good. It just kind of slips on and off. That's actually pretty nice. Like the only problem is maybe that the, this little ball sometimes gets caught and you just gotta wiggle it. Uh, the helmet, I don't know if you can really see that, but it is kind of yellow. Same with all of the pieces. Uh, this was new in box. It's just that the plastic quality isn't the best. But the details on this helmet is like so extraordinary. It actually looks so cool. Besides a tiny bit of yellow. Now the shield. The shield is the scary part because the shield kind of plugs into the arm part at the back. And that's not the scary part. The scary part is attaching the shield to the actual little arm thing. That is just, like, if you see the friction here, it's scary. Like, I, I don't like doing that. And I say you either have it on or you have it off. I'm probably going to have mine off for when I'm keeping it and stuff because I don't like doing that. It's not nice. Um, This is basically the front part. It also comes off, just kind of pops off. Pretty easy. And this is the bare bones beat em on, like you saw before. Now, here's a little marble. I'm going to do two test shots. Um, basically, the mobile, it just kind of, uh, it is a different size, actually, than the standard, uh, Bidama. It's, uh, slightly bigger than the other ones, and that, uh, so I don't re recommend you use the other ones. I recommend you only use this one, uh, just, just for sa safety's sake. There also isn't a spring. It's all just kind of, when you push the mobile in, which is not too scary. It's a little bit scary, but it's actually pretty good. Um, this just kind of pulls back, there's no swing, and it's all held to together by screws, so there's not really any customization. But the power in this guy, like, oh, 
Did you see that? That was crazy. I will have a comparison of Spike Phoenix. Uh, so actually, let's jump to that comparison right now. Okay, guys, we're back with the firing demo, and let's check this out. So here is normal Spike Phoenix. Pretty powerful. Now, uh, let's see normal of uh, the uh, Battle Beatmon or uh, Super Beatmon, sorry. That was pretty good. And now for the second comparison, I just need to grab my marbles here. We are going to do the Emblem Charge here, and then we're going to do the Night Mode for this. Just because. So, Emblem Charge. That seemed actually a little bit weaker, so right now we're just going to assemble him, put the helmet on, put the chest pad on, put the shield into place, uh, oh, scariness, and then we just pop the shield into his backhand, and there we go, Knight Cavalry. No. Pop the... Oh, this is scary. Pop it in there. There we go. Oops. This came out. Yeah, this this is um a little bit scary dealing with this Beatmon. Come on. There. There we go. So, let's do a firing demo in night mode, which actually probably won't change much, but whatever. Oh, this is... There we go. So... Obviously no safety on this guy, which is crazy because you'd be shooting those mobiles pretty hard. That about wraps it up. Um, let's cut to the final segment. Okay guys, we are back with the final verdict and my suggestion is um, you might, you probably won't be able to find this exact beatamon, but if you're looking for to buy a super beatamon, whether it's of the night variant or it's just a normal one, I recommend if you're a collector you should definitely get the night variant or the normal one, just as a collection piece, not always a toy. But if you are an actual player, um, if you really wanted one, I don't suggest you get the night version. I suggest you get a normal one, just to have it to play with. Because the night version, it's good. It's a little bit more expensive, but um, the plastic is on the helmets and stuff is a little bit weaker, and it also is yellowing a bit. So it's not really more of a play aspect unless you're just getting the normal guy. Um, but overall, I liked him a lot. He had, the helmet had so many cool designs. It looked awesome. And overall, he was a great beat -em -up. So I still recommend him to anyone who, if you really want one, I suggest you buy one. And definitely a must-buy, must-have for collectors. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is King Swords. Like, comment, subscribe. And like always, I'm out.